now that we've got our customer table set up, you'll notice I've put some data in and that our um, identity column is automatically incrementing by 10 and started at 1,000. Um, I've got a lot of repeating data. I just used four, four names and just um, looped it and inserted about 100,000 rows. Um, now, the next the next thing we're going to learn about is adding an index to the database. And what an index is is that you're going to be in situations where you need to search for for um, uh, search the records. And for instance, if I just did a little query here and searched for um, the first row with the last name Lever, and we go and execute, we can see the database has gone and found this. But the problem here is that with time, if this database had a few million records or 50 million records and you're searching for a user with the last name Lever, it could take a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the traffic, for, for that kind of query because the database will go through and search through every single record and find a match for Lever. Um, but um, SQL Server has a way of solving this with indexes. So um, right here by default, um, it adds a primary key index, which is known as a, a clustered index on the identity column. That's um, a clustered just means uh, you can only have one clustered and it means it's physical order in the table. But we can go and add non-clustered indexes to any of the columns we wish. So we're going to go ahead and add an index to, f to the first name. And I'll give it a name, first name index. And you can see it's popped up um, as a non-clustered index. And I'll add one more for the last name. go ahead and select that column last name um, and what an index essentially is is that um, SQL Server the SQL Server engine will create an invisible table to you um, that sits alongside this customers table and it will contain the primary key of the customer and uh, for instance this first name index will contain the primary key customer ID and then a first name column and it'll have that table in order of first name. So it'll have the A's and then the B's and then the C's so that when you go and look for a customer like Mark for instance, um, it'll go and it'll find where M starts and it'll look for all the marks that exist in M and once um, it gets to um, the next ordered name and sequence which which um, could be Nigel. When it, once it gets to N or, or a name that is um, the next sequence order, it knows it's, it's found all the marks it can and then it stops looking and it's much more effective and efficient at finding. So please use indexes and also use them sparingly because they can use a lot of space because like I said, it creates another virtual table, uh, invisible table that sits alongside customers. So, um, and for, for, and so if your table has 5 million records, it'll have uh, invisible table on the side that also has 5 million records that s stores all the first names in order and then another table that stores all the last names in order so you need to decide by design um, what is important to index because everything you index just means more storage space that's required.